this is Kasia. I made the Princess in Black costume for my daughter for the book character day at school and I want to share with you how I did that. If you're here, you probably already know the book. We came up with the costume based on this drawing. Um, it was three parts. We made the belt, the cape, the shirt, and she wore her own shorts and tights. We didn't make the mask because there's no masks at school. They're not allowed. So today in uh, this video, I'm going to show you how I made the belt. Here's the belt. I'm going to show you all of the materials that you need and how I made mine and hopefully you enjoy making it and you come back for more. Okay everyone, so first let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need a pattern. Uh, you can download mine, it's absolutely free. The link um, is right below this video. Or you can make your own. On your pattern you want to draw out the flower, the circle for the middle part of the flower, and I also added a little guide for the belt strap, but depending on how well you can curve the end of the strap, you need it or you don't need it. Also, I have a list of all the materials here, but um, here they are. So uh, first thing, you're going to need a 3x3 three three inch piece of the yellow felt. So it's a little scrap. Hopefully you have one. If not, you can buy a sheet of 85 by 11 at a craft store like Joann's and they're less than a dollar, I think. So one of the white ones. You need another one of white, or if you have a scrap piece, then you will get a six by 12 inch piece of the scrap white or two six by six inch pieces, scrap pieces. And um, you will also need a piece of black Velcro. It's um, three quarter inch wide by two and a half inches long. If you can find a gray Velcro, it'd be even better. I couldn't, so I'm using black Velcro. And finally, I'm going to need a piece of gray cotton fabric. It is six inches wide, and depending on the waist of a child, you will need a different length of it. Um, I figured out the length based on average sizes of the children. However, uh, you can figure it out on your own. So you want to measure the child's waist and add five inches to it. So let's say you have a child that is 22 inches at waist, you're going to add five inches. So you will have a 27 inch long piece of the gray fabric. So six inch wide by the waist plus five inches length. All right, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so I've cut out my pattern pieces. <clears throat> Using my pattern pieces, I've cut out one yellow circle out of the yellow felt and two white flowers out of the white felt. And let me show you how I'm going to use this. So you want to take your gray fabric and fold it in half lengthwise. And then here, and I'm folding it right side in. So this is the side that's going to end up on the outside of the fabric. Um, and you have a little thing here that says fold here. So I'm going to put the fold on the line and then I'm going to trace it. And I'm just using a regular pen. This pen is actually erasable and washable, but it doesn't matter because we'll cut it. So you're going to draw something like this. Okay. Also, I'm going to be using a one centimeter seam allowance, which is about, it's less than half an inch. So I'm going to draw myself a line here and I'm going to um, do it at that distance. So that shows me where to sew. And the only way that this is tricky is because here you sew on this side and here on the fold you don't. So this helps me get a really good curve going. Now some people can just sew it without drawing it, but I feel like I need additional help. So I'm going to draw this and then I'm going to go to the other side of the belt and do the exact same thing. And I'm actually going to flip it and do it on the other side. So once again, first I'm going to draw my line that I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to come back in and draw the other line for where I'm going to sew. And I'm going to sew here. 
but I'm not gonna sew here. Okay, now I'm gonna get my scissors and cut this piece off. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. And now I'm ready to start sewing. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew the flower. Okay, so I'm using white thread, top and bottom, and I'm gonna use my machine. And I'm only using one pen to put the two flowers together. You can use several to put in each petal, but I think one is just fine for the felt. I'm gonna sew real close to the edge, probably just an eighth of an inch. And then I'm gonna follow these lines all around. Once you have sewn all around your flower, take the pen out, get the yellow piece, the yellow center piece, and center it the best you can, and then pin it in. And once again, go all the way around with your sewing machine. And once again, I'm gonna go about an eighth of an inch away from the edge, and I'm not gonna switch to a yellow thread, I'm just gonna use white thread, it goes into the felt and you can barely see it. So put it in there, and um, so And voila, my flower is done. I'm gonna cut off this little loose strands, and let's go ahead and do the belt part. So switch to gray thread, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so let's get back to our strap here. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Here where I had drawn, where I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna use a couple pins to hold it together. And then you could go all the way around and pin it all the way around if you feel like that helps you do it. I feel like cotton doesn't move as much. And then I'm going to go towards the middle and I'm going to put a pin about three inches from the middle right here. And I'll do it again on the other side. So what I'm going to do is this six inch piece here in the middle, I'm going to leave an opening. I'm not going to sew through here so I can flip the belt. So I'm going to go ahead and start sewing right here. So around the curve, go straight, straight, straight until I make it to my pin. Then I'm going to flip my belt and I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So I'm going to use the pins, then I'm going to sew until I get to this pin. Okay, so I've sewn through my belt on both sides. I'm going to get all of the pins out now. And before I flip it, I am going to use my pink and shears, it's these zigzag scissors, and cut around the curve. Now if you don't have this type of scissors, use regular scissors. Let me show you and do some of this. Be careful not to cut through the thread and the um, where you just sewn, but cut out some of these triangles. Okay, but I'm just going to use this. This is quicker and I feel like it's easier. I'm going to do this on both ends. So one and two. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip it. So I'll go to my opening right here in the middle and I'll flip my belt so it's on the right side out. Once you get to the end pieces, use something long if you have a hard time with the very end. Uh, I usually just use my scissors and shove them in there. So flip your ends and if they're not flipping all the way out, put your scissors in the hole and be gentle and uh, make it as straight as you can. 
Okay, so you're gonna do this on both sides. And once you finish flipping your belt, go ahead and press it, um, iron it. Iron it flat, and then uh, we're gonna sew through the opening. Okay, so I've pressed my belt, it's nice and flat. I'm gonna find this place where the opening is, and I'm gonna come back in with my machine just on top right here. Close to the edge, I'm gonna use a gray thread, and I'm gonna cover this opening. So just sew right over it. Once I've done this, I'm gonna add the Velcro. And this is what I'm doing with the Velcro. This really soft part, I'm gonna keep the two and a half inch piece like it is. But the hard part, I'm gonna cut it in about a half or even a little less to keep an inch or a little over an inch of it only. I'm gonna discard the other piece. The reason I do that is because this piece is the one that snags and closed, so I wanna keep it smaller. But with this one longer, we're still gonna have some adjustability to the belt, so it'll fit smaller and larger waist. So I'm gonna put this on one side of the belt and this on the other, so later it can be closed and opened. And to do this, I'm gonna use black thread on the top of my machine, but I'll use the gray on the bottom so it's gray on. Okay, so I have sewn right over my opening right here on the outside, and I have added my Velcro pieces on both ends. So the very last thing that I still need to do is to add the magnolia flower. I'm going to do that by putting it over the long piece of Velcro. That way this piece stays away from the body and won't scratch the clothing, and this can be adjusted if whether the child's a little smaller or wider in the waist or can be longer for a long, worn for a longer time. Uh, I'm gonna put the flower over where the Velcro part is, kind of try to center it the best I can. I'm gonna use one pin to hold it down, just like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with my machine and I'm gonna sew right here, right around the yellow piece but on the white piece. So it's, it's not very well seen. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna go over these pieces only to the edge of the gray to hold the flower down a little bit more. All right, you do your worst. Okay, so I have my needle right here, right next to my yellow part, and I'm gonna sew all around it. I'm sorry, I'm not sure that I can show you how I do this because it's extremely hard to sew and hold my camera at the same time okay so um here's the belt it's done this is what it looks like from the uh, bottom you can kind of see the seams but i don't think it matters at all here's the velcro closure so here it is it's done i hope you enjoyed my video and come back for more i'm gonna make the cape next time